Welcome to another edition of the JH Report. Today is June 23rd, 2007, and I am Jellybean Madison. SL is supposed to be our world, our imagination, but where are the lines to be drawn? A lot of controversy has stemmed from age play in our world. Oh, this just in. Our cameras are picking up action on the playground. Let's go live to the scene. <laughs> London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Oh. Uh oh. Hey there, little girl. What you doing? I am just running and skipping and playing and laughing and being innocent. Haha, <laughs> ha, well that sounds like fun. How would you like a drink of my dew? Ooh, I love dew, but my mom told me not to take anything from strangers. Well, that's too bad because I wanted to take you for a ride and show you dew town where you can have all the dew you could ever drink. We will only be gone a few minutes, and then you can come right back here to finish playing. I promise. Well, I really like do, and that sounds so fun. Maybe I could come for a quick ride with you. Nice. Well, just jump right in there. I will take you for the ride of your life. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Age play is such a touchy topic. I don't profess to understand it, but I also don't understand the desire to play the opposite gender, or as a furry, or even why the fuck they put roads all over SL when people teleport and fly everywhere. My lack of understanding doesn't make it wrong, and I am a staunch supporter of individual rights and freedoms. I clearly do not think it is in the interest of Second Life to try to legislate morality amongst consenting adults. That opens up a classic slippery slope as to where does it end that rightly has the community in an uproar. One can argue that all of us fake our age to some extent in SL. I'm sure for the most part, people are looking younger and hipper than the person in front of the monitor. I'll confess to that. But I am sure there are beautiful people out there playing older and uglier as well. SL provides a forum where we can experiment with anything and everything our imaginations can dream up. Age play is just yet another facet for that. As long as it's among consenting legal aged adults, then no harm, no foul. One concern I do have is that there is a chance that a very small percentage of the population may find that acting out sexualized age play in SL normalizes this activity in such a way that it may embolden them to act out in real life. I am not a psychologist, but this seems like a logical thing that could happen under the right circumstances. Again, it isn't the game that is creating this condition, but only acting as an enabler for someone who already has irrational tendencies. This would be my one fear about age play that makes me hesitant to just say it is perfectly fine. In the end, though, we're clearly on the side of individual rights and freedoms. Second Life cannot start down a path that will leave them liable for any activities that could get through their morality patrol. They should continue to focus on ensuring that everyone on the main grid is above the age of 18. And this ensures that the individuals are both consenting adults and capable of making adult decisions, including when to hit the X button and leave a situation when they're not comfortable. <laughs>